Hello, hello, I am Gogo Lomo, professional actor and motivational speaker. And I'm Emily Johnson Erde, actor and singer. And we are on a roof. roof. Yes, in Brooklyn, <laughs> New York. Beautiful Brooklyn. Oh, and you see, you see that building behind us? Ooh. That's real. It's real. We're, we're not in a, not a backdrop. It's not a green screen. <laughs> we're here. I today we're talking about networking. Dum dum dum. Oh my goodness. Ah what is networking to you? What does it mean to you? I have two definitions for networking. The first is the most intimidating thing that I'll ever do. Totally scary in every way. And two is creating creating a symbiotic I don't know if symbiotic is a good word. But a relationship where both people have a drive to do a common thing. I like that. I like that. Um, networking for me is really meeting someone and establishing a rapport with them mm -hmm. and then establishing a, a working relationship. Um, it's not just exchanging of numbers and it's like, oh, hey, you hit them up every no once and again. No, it's <laughs> no, really actually establishing something, a business relationship. So what I actually looked up, the definition of networking, on, so the internet told us. So the internet told us. It tells a lot, a lot of stuff, but I really like this. And it said, the cultivation of productive relationships. Ah! Boom. That right there. Drop the mic. There that's, it is. That's that's really <laughs> it right there. And especially in our industry of, of entertainment, networking is so important. Uh huh. It is based on relationships. But if you really think about it, really in every industry, it's really based on relationships. The relationships you have with your boss, you have with your coworkers, you have with the people that are in your industry. And you have to really take the time to get to know people um, on a personal level. Don't don't be afraid to get personal. Um, just, you know, not, not like deep, deep stuff, but get to know them. And then you then you know, and you can cultivate it and then that business yeah. relationship can, can sprout. Yeah, yeah, and never forget that it's not just you who want something from another person. You have something to offer too. And this is something that I'm telling myself while I tell you all. Exactly. And I know that for me, one thing I do when it comes to networking is I'll call you when I don't need you. Um, mm. And I will establish that relationship so that when I call, you don't feel like I'm calling for something. Uh, because, you know, people want to know that you actually do care about them. And I genuinely do care about the people that I meet and decide to network with. So, hey, how, how are you doing? How are things going? And pushing them forth with what, with whatever they're doing. And then maybe maybe a year down the road, two years, five years, you've you've cultivated a relationship and then you call them and say, Oh, I need this favor. They will be more than happy to help you out because mm -hmm. you've you I mean you now have a working networked relationship. I think that's so yeah. key. That was good. Um so hey go out there and network, meet people and have fun with it. Yeah. Yes. See you next time. Cause we're right here in Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm on a, a roof. roof. All right, bye guys. <laughs>